My name is Jordan Thomas. I'm former world and European karate champion, and my aim is to go for the Olympics. Let me start from the, the beginning. My dad was world champion, and I kind of naturally followed in his footsteps. I fell in love with the game, and um, I kind of never looked back. <laughs> To be honest with you, like me and my dad have gone through a lot together in the sport and um, one thing that he has always given me is just to, just to be my own person and conscious about myself because the achievements is mine and then I can give off the energy on, to everybody else, you know, like that so I can experience it with my dad. I, I won my world championships with my dad by my side. Um, and he will always be there, even though he's in Hong Kong. Um, so yeah, I am focusing on my own legacy, but you know, I'm in a legacy from when I was born. You know, my dad was world champ, you know, and then I came into the sport and then uh, I followed and I became world champ. So now that's two generations. But in this life, like as an athlete, I wasn't always funded. So there was a point where I had to make that sacrifice where all my money I earned went on my sport. You know, so I, I became a, a sports center assistant at, um, cent at like a school, just in, in, in a sports center, a sports center in a school, and I was just working there. And then I'd done some fitness tra uh, classes and personal training, and everything that I, I earned went on that. So. The first time, I remember being 22 years old and, no sorry, 21 years old. I was 21 years old and I lost just before the bronze medal matchup. And I remember thinking like, right, I know I should be on that finals map. And it took me a year to then go back to that same European champs to then become European champion. So, I, and I'd done it part-time, so, and I was beating people who are full-time athletes. So I'm thinking, right, okay. Later on that year, I fought for a bronze medal at the World Championships. I'm like, right. And by then, so I was the first British athlete to win a European title in eight years in 2014 at 22 years old. So when I lost that bronze medal for match, I came off and I was crying uh, to my dad. My dad was like, why are you crying for? I went, what? And I said, dad, I'm the best in the world. Like I came, I lost for bronze medal at that world champion. I said, I came to him, I said, dad, I'm the best in the world. I know I'm the best in the world. And he said, you know what? You have to wait two years for that, for your opportunity again. And he just walked off. And I'll tell you now, that burned me for two years. I was working hard. So approaching that, like I remember again, 2015, the money struggles, but just living the, the normal life of going to work, working in an environment that allowed me to train and go away. And, very much so like St. George's school was very understanding of me just um, going away to do something positive, to bring back to the school and being kind of like a role model to the kids. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful for that. And then uh, I remember being at the World Championships in 2016 when I won. And uh, I, won the, I remember the, the day before I won the World Champs, a message, an email came up saying uh, my payment has declined for my phone bill. <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh gosh, I have to win tomorrow. <laughs> I have to win tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I went out and um, I gapped him 8-0 um, and I became the first world champion in 12 years uh, for, as, a, as a British athlete. Um, bringing it back 
and I came back and I, you know, I still couldn't pay my phone bill for, for a good while. Um, and it took me, you know, for my second world medal uh, in 2017, where then UK Sport uh, came and said, you know what, there's something there. You know, we think you can do it uh, and we're gonna support you in doing so. All right, okay, like, you know, I remember getting that medal and it was literally, as soon as I stepped off the mat, somebody told me that and I thought, right, okay, it's on. It's on and, it, and this, is what, this is where I am and I've decided to come up to Manchester, locate myself here with the, in the best environment uh, to give myself the best opportunity. To be honest with you, that's what motivates me is to be the best person every single day. Um, and yeah, just um, for me, it's, it's about getting something done. And um, yeah, and, and I, I kind of win each day as it goes on. You know, even on the days that you don't feel like it, you still have to come and, and execute um, in a job. Like, you know, feelings doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter if um, I feel sick one day and I can't make it. And maybe in these times now, um, it's important to kind of take care of yourself and take it with precaution. But um, no, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely commitment because if you don't have that, then you know, it's nothing, you won't be able to achieve what you actually want to do. Thing is, you can block out everybody else, more or less. Um, and it's actually the expectations, the pressures that you give yourself. You know, it's, it's a constant battle with yourself. Well, how much do you want to get out of it? You know, and I think that's the hardest thing because you can never stop growing. You know, that's, that's, that's my, my opinion. So, you know, okay, I've achieved that. What's next? And, you know, you have to then start pushing for that. You know, the training session, you want to execute everything in your training session and you want to be bang on, bang on. You just want to get the best out of yourself. And I think that's the, the hardest thing to do that every single day. And that's even on, like, that's every aspect of your life. That's from what you eat, how you sleep, um, and to how you train. So the main goal uh, is uh, the Olympics next year um, in 2021 now. Um, then I've got the World Championships here later on that year. Um, so there is also like a couple life goals that I want to do. I might want to cross over to a, a totally different, you know, area, opportunities going left, you know. So now it's about creating uh, Basically doing the best I can uh, right now in branching out, connecting, so it sets me up for after my athlete career. Um, whether I'm finished or not, I don't, I don't think I, you know, I'm, I'm competitive, so whatever I go into, as, as long as it's competitive and I can get in there, I'll be happy. This time we're going to lose a small block. See how it's worked. I think small block will be harder to go in and we count because on your big block. Okay. Yeah. All right, where do we go from here, guys? You know? <laughs>